it is the sub of a uh, tool and it is the sub of setting and it is the sub of content <laughs> hello guys welcome back to join coder today i will show you how to create nested table in laravel okay let's start actually i have two table Okay, I have a table like this. So let's to create in this menu project. So I create model. And one more is controller. Now I have this controller and now the one is model. This model I need to use a DB. And I want to get data from I want to get data from DB so I need to create a function for the function get data. And I will provide string from here. And I put so go back to our controller. I will use app key there. Okay. And create a function is then create a function public function and news and this menu I will return I will return view awesome new fit array data menu in here data so my delta I will get from my model I use this model okay clear this equals new model then I declare data equals dot get data okay and we provide a query from here. So first, first I want to get from the table. I can put into here, copy into here, and other one I need to get from sub. Okay, I put here sub menu. This menu. Okay, and copy from this one to pass here and we need to provide to our array here return with delta one more is sub menu like this finish in our control our controller now it finish in our controller we need to create a view in here we need to create a new view And in the file, let me copy from copy from this one. Pass, okay. And let me create a route. One more is route, okay. And this route, I need to to learn. okay. I need to import this one, and we need to call a route. We need to copy this, okay. This we don't need to put a name, so let's test in here. Oh, I have some error in here. Yes, error in here. In my model. Okay, I forget. 
let's make a line here and refresh again okay yes it is the welcome page so i need to custom this page to uh, our layout the table so i need to copy from bootstrap document here and we can choose which one that we need okay let me copy this one and pass into here then refresh okay and start to change um, palam okay and then we need to loop our data into the table so let's start here let me format here and I need to loop the data in here, okay? Dr for the for loop and and for each, okay? And I change here to menu, and I need to provide data in here. So I need to provide data the data into here, then the value into here. Okay, then refresh. Yes, it works. Okay, and then we need to provide action here. Okay, and then this tag, let me put it here and pass it. And format, me format here. And then, and then refresh our browser here. Okay, if we show like this, our action here and here. Okay, and our next step is we need to okay have a submenu into this ops action. Okay, we press JavaScript in here. We create a new table. Okay, in for each year, let me pass my code here. It is a sub table that we need to show when we are a pen or clicks button. To and yes, now it's not work. We can refresh. Okay, and click here. Okay, you can see it is appear into here. It is a sub table that, that we need to show. It is the sub of a uh, tool, and it is the sub of setting, and it is the sub of content. This menu content we have a sub like this. It have a YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Okay, so our action is completely. Thank you for watching. Bye.